Hi everyone, this is Daniel Schaefer, and in this video we're going to be going through Chrysalis app, which was the group final project for Dev Boot Camp that I got to do along with Andy Donato, Ryan Au, and John Hess. I was the project manager and the back end guy primarily. Ryan was the he was also mostly on the back end, but he also did a lot as far as hooking the front and back end together. Andy and John were all on the front end and made this website look great. So the idea for Chrysalis came about when we were thinking about barriers to entry for people in investing. And the, the thought was, you know, investing isn't difficult. But a lot of people don't do it just because they don't know how to begin. It's sort of this scary, like, you know, when they think of investing, they think of this crazy ticker tape that you see in front of you. And it's just like all these numbers and symbols and arrows. And it's like, what's going on? It seems like it's mostly just run by scary banks wreaking their chicanery on the world. And that's not, that's not, I mean, that is true. But the, there shouldn't be a, a barrier to, uh, to entry, and, and people shouldn't have that mental block. And so what we wanted to do was make an app that would take people's age and their risk preference, which is how much volatility they're willing to accept in their portfolio. We'll take those into account and just serve them stock recommendations and abstract away all of the math that goes into to determining what is a, a suitable stock to buy, given their age and given their risk profile. And so at the same time as doing that, we also wanted to cater to experienced investors and provide them with recommendations robust enough that they could feel satisfied in knowing that like some really solid analysis went in to uh, serving them the recommendations that they get from this site. And so we followed Ben Graham's fundamental analysis methodologies and a couple other sort of secret sauce things that Ryan and myself came up with. And basically what this app does is it pulls a bunch of data and metrics uh, of all 5,000 plus stocks that are publicly traded in the, the US and it filters them basically based on based on those metrics. So how is its PE ratio? How is its PEG ratio? All these ratios um, and just other other metrics that sort of signify the well-being and possibility for future growth of a stock. So we take those all into account and then serve them up for you here. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate right now. Feel free to navigate to the site in another tab and follow along. So first you go to chrysalisapp.com and sign in. And this will take you to Twitter. We used Twitter's OAuth to log in. Now, if this is your first time logging in, you'll be prompted to set up your profile, and it's here that you will be asked to provide your age and your risk preference. Note that you can only provide your age once, and so make sure you get it right. And then for risk preference, you'll be able to adjust that, and at different uh, levels of risk from 1 to 10, we have descriptions, so for 7 this is a statement that someone with a risk preference of seven would generally agree with. They say, I'm moderately risk seeking, or if I'm not eating my food, I should at least play with it. And then we have a Latin quote, which sort of signifies that as well. Um, same thing, you know, all the way, all the way down to I'm very risk averse, for example, and all the way up to I'm aggressively risk seeking. So once you've set that and you've set your age, you can click Update Profile and go to your recommendations. And this will say, okay, based on, your, based on your age, based on your risk preference, this is how we would recommend that you, 
that you split up your stocks. You should have, you know, some, some high-risk ones, you should have some mid-risk ones, you should have some low-risk ones. And this would be a, a theoretically balanced portfolio for you. So since we're up here at 10, why don't we see if we can make a basket of high-risk stocks, or I should say vol more volatile stocks. So let's add this one, we'll add this one, and that one. We'll move down to mid-risk. By the way, I'm putting these into a basket right now. Um, okay, this looks good. We'll add this one as well. I wonder what this is. So here you can find out more about the, or you can read a, read a description of the stock as well as find out some more uh, fundamental metrics about it such as the price and the beta, EPS, etc. If you're unfamiliar with what any of these mean, there's a glossary right there for you. We'll uh, add a couple more, uh, some less risky ones. We'll go ahead and take this one, this one, and that one. So we didn't quite, didn't quite nail that recommended allocation, but this seems fine for now. And uh, we'll call it we'll call it the example basket. So what that does is it stores that selection that you have and it keeps it in a baskets tab, which you can see over here. And for the one that I made just now, uh, we can see an overview of it here. And there's one actually that I made previously but you can compare its performance to the market. So it turns out that that random selection that I just did uh, actually outperformed the market by 1.54% in the past week. And that's pretty much, that's, that's what we were going for. We wanted to, to make a way for people to get to finding stocks more easily. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear some feedback if you have any suggestions for improvements? We're always trying to we're always trying to make it better. It's open source, of course, and there will be links for the website for the GitHub repo in the description. And I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say thanks again to uh, Ryan for bringing everything together so well. For uh, Andy, who made this great UI, um, we used. Material UI, which is a React library of components, and he just puts stuff together really well. Um, John Hess as well, and he did a lot both in making the front end and getting it deployed to Heroku, which we had some challenges with initially, but but uh, solved that solved that uh, pretty quickly. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you had the chance to use this app to, to uh, hatch some insight 